Good afternoon, and welcome to our abstract presentation of the evaluation of the multifunction cardiogram for low-risk chest pain patients presenting to the emergency department. My name is Dr. Linda Papa, and I am an emergency physician and director of academic clinical research at Orlando Regional Medical Center. A special thank you to all my co-investigators who are listed here. And the study was funded in part by Emergency MCG and Premier Heart. None of the authors have any financial interest in the company. The sponsor was not involved in the design, the content, or the analysis or interpretation of the data. The multifunctional cardiogram, or MCG, is a computerized multiphase resting ECG analysis device. It combines the traditional 12 lead EKG with mathematical modeling and with functional measurements of the heart's electrical activity. Studies done in high-risk patients have shown that the MCG actually correlates very well with coronary artery stenosis on angiography. So our study objective was to evaluate the MCG in low-risk chest pain patients with suspected ACS presenting to the ED and compare results to angiography. So the design was a prospective cohort study, a convenient sample in a single tertiary care academic center. Adult patients presenting with symptoms consistent with possible ACS per the treating physician and having an angiography performed as routine care were eligible for the study. We excluded patients with high TIMI scores or with patients uh, with ECG showing active ischemia. Data was obtained from two leads, two and V5, and that was recorded for 82 seconds and tests were repeated three to five times for quality assurance. Data were then electronically transmitted to a central computer where the data was mathematically transformed and analyzed. And then the computer generated a risk score from zero to 20, zero being minimal risk and 20 being very high risk. All the clinicians were blinded to the results of the MCG and the angiogram results were classified as no coronary artery disease, mild, moderate, and severe based on the readings of the cardiologist. We enrolled a total of 511 patients, mean age of 52 and 51% were female, 1% Asian, 33% Black, 18% uh, Hispanic, and 47% White. 47 patients, or 9% of our total population, had an angiogram performed. The majority were CCTAs. And the results were that 49% showed no coronary artery disease, 26% showed mild coronary disease, 15% moderate, and 11% severe coronary disease. So this figure shows the MCG score versus the disease severity on angiography. This is median scores with interquartile range. And you can see that as the severity of the coronary artery disease increases, so does the risk score from the MCG, with the highest level being in severe coronary artery disease. I also show the mean scores with 95% confidence intervals on the side. So this figure is the ROC curve for the MCG score predicting severity of disease on angiography. And one is a perfect score. And what we did is we took the highest MCG score we found from all of the readings, and that yielded an area under the curve of 0.85, which is really very good, with a confidence interval of 0.7 to 0.99 showing us that MCG predicts severity of disease. This table is a two by two table showing us the sensitivity and specificity of predicting severity of disease. So we dichotomize the MCG score into zero to four and five to 20, and then categorize severity of disease based on uh, obstruction, severe disease versus non-severe disease, and found that the sensitivity of the MCG score with a cutoff of four was 100%, a specificity of 56%, a negative predictive value of 100%, and a likelihood ratio of 2.3 with a confidence interval of 1.6 to 3.2. So the MCG scores increased with severity of coronary disease. And this study introduces this non-invasive tool, the MCG, in assessing low-risk chest pain patients with suspected ACS in the ED. The sample size in those who received an angiogram is small, so a large prospective multicenter study is now ongoing, and we hope to have some results for you in the near future. Thank you, and I entertain any questions that you may have at this point.